If you're new to incubating eggs, hopefully this fifth short clip of six will give you the information you need about getting started and placing and turning your eggs in a Brindisi Mini Advance incubator. So the Mini Advance incubator will accommodate seven hen eggs of different sizes with a standard seven egg disc. Some larger duck eggs may be too big for the disc and would be best turned manually. In the previous clip, we showed how to turn off the egg turning so that you can turn manually. For quail eggs, which are much smaller, there is a 12 egg disc and that can be bought separately. You need some fertile eggs from a reputable breeder that are not, uh, not older than a couple of weeks old, otherwise, otherwise they may not be viable. Um, they also need to have been stored, if they have been stored, in a cool environment, not a fridge. There is some debate as to whether eggs should be turned, but a lot of people prefer to turn their eggs when they are being stored. Um, a couple of times a day. Um, so one way to do, make that easy for yourself is to have a separate base and a turning disc and simply to put the eggs in there and turn them manually with that disc so that they are turned morning and evening. Like I say there is some debate as to whether that needs to be done uh, but a lot of people do do it. Before you put your eggs into the incubator you really need to make sure the incubator has been up and running for a couple of hours so that the temperature and humidity have stabilised. The egg disc that you place in there needs to be placed with the ridges of the disc facing upwards. You want the eggs to rotate backwards and forwards between 90 and 120 degrees. So before you put the mini advance to work with the eggs in it, what you probably ought to do, or we recommend you do, is to mark a little X on one side of the shell of the egg and a little naught on the opposite. If I get the camera to pan in, I can show you that in a little bit more detail because I've prepared these in advance. So here we go. If I take this egg here, I've got a little X marked on here. If I turn that, you'll see that that's roughly at 10 o'clock and I've marked a little naught at 2 o'clock. It could be nine o'clock and three o'clock. Um, if you do that, then when you place those eggs into your turning disc, you, when it turns, you'll know how far the eggs are being rotated by the disc. And that will allow you to judge whether your turning interval, uh, which you put into your menu, is the right interval. The machine, as we have previously explained in a previous clip, is set at factory settings of five seconds. But by increasing or decreasing that, you can get the eggs turning f further or turning less. Generally, with the Mini Advance, where you have a turning disc, we recommend that you set the eggs with the pointy end facing outwards towards the edges of the incubator. So for example, this one here, it's not that clear which is the pointy end, but I would suggest it's probably this side here. So it'd be pointing outwards. Generally, the slightly bigger eggs are best set with the pointy end facing outwards and the smaller eggs, especially when you're using one of the small egg discs for 12 eggs, there you really want the, well the recommendation is to put the pointy eggs facing, pointy ends facing inwards rather than outwards. You can adjust 
as you like. It, once you start working with the turning, uh, you may find that certain eggs don't turn as well when they're pointing outwards. So you turn them around and, and, and adjust. And that's why the, the, the little pencil marks are so helpful because it gives you an indication of which eggs are turning better than others and whether those eggs might need to be turned around uh, so that they turn better. Once you've set the eggs in the incubator, as such, you want to check every two to three days to ensure that the water in the central reservoir is topped up. In this case, when we start incubation, it's one of the pots only that's topped up. But as we get to two days from hatch, we want to make sure that both pots are topped up. In the next clip, we'll look at that hatching in more detail.